Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix online meeting 124 at the end of March, marching down to the end of Wix 311, which is basically what we're going to talk about all day today. We're going to talk about the Wix 311 RC status, where are we at, what are we doing. Uh, we'll do a triage to cover all the things that you know have come up recently or haven't or whatever we're going to do there. We will again talk about the Wix 311 release date because we always should do that after we do our triage, and then we'll take questions, comments, things that people want to talk about. Obviously, Wix 3.11 is all-encompassing. It is everything we are doing right now, and I'm looking forward to that not being true anymore. So, oh, as always, these meetings are recorded for those people that are unable to be with us right here, right now. Hope you're enjoying the meeting in the future. Wix 3.11 RC status. Um, Wix 3.11 RC 2 is available today, late, a whole week. Sorry, my bad. I really got sucked into a customer thing last week and trying to get lots of fixes in and stuff that I don't work on. Ah, votive, <clears throat> Visual Studio templates, ah, yuck. Um, this does fix, um, I think, almost all the known issues. We'll talk about which ones it doesn't. Uh, so in the end, our issues are looking pretty good. We're going to review them here. And then we're going to go to the pull requests um, because we should keep doing that in Wix 3. Um, and we'll review them today as well. So essentially, RC1 was rolling on fine, found some bugs, people keep hitting them, people keep talking about them, um, but we haven't seen a whole lot of new ones, that's kind of good, so hopefully RC2 takes care of all that and we're on our way to a good place. But let's go walk through exactly what issues have come up in the last two weeks, and then we'll talk about what we're doing with RC uh, with Wix 311. Triage and pull request review. Ready, Bob? Go. Go. I like it. Um, we have some old stuff down here and then some other things up higher. Yep. Um, we still have the v, VSTS and VNEX builds. Um, we've not pushed on this. I'm inclined to let this sit down here because we're not doing it at Wix 311, but we probably should spend a little more time with it. Yeah, we got uh, we got some feedback um, from Microsoft. Okay. Um, including a link to uh, a Microsoft forum somewhere that discussed the issue. Unfortunately, they discussed it in August, and um, no one told us about it. That's too bad. Yeah. So um, I, yeah, it's it's certainly worth looking at. I can see, you know, there's some uh, there there's the potential there for a deadlock. All I right. imagine. All right. Um, we'll we'll so go look at that. We're not taking three eleven. Uh, but take it in 4 out. Ah, probably. Oh, you, do you want to? Oh, wait. You're saying you should, we should take it in 4 out now? Yeah, okay. I'll take that. So you think there's enough there that we should take it in 4 out? There's enough information. Sorry, I went off. There's the enough information to investigate. Yeah. All right. I'm fine with that. Cool. Then we actually are done with that one. I thought we were just going to let it float for another two weeks. Cool. Fine. Great. Uh, this in the end was I don't know who saw this. The hyphen. Who saw this? Me. Yeah? Yes. Awesome. Well done. Yay. And I think something in MS Build changed that isn't respecting that hyphen either. Anyway. Um, running layout shows unexpected action state. That's pretty cool. Um, and Bob took it to go do this at some point in time. When are we going to fix this one? <clears throat> it's kind of already fixed. Oh, is it? Did I not? Oh, merged. Ah, okay, very good. Ah, all right, cool. Um, unexpected action state. All right, so it won't say that when you do a layout. Awesome. And that says laying out. Laying out. I like trying to write that. <laughs> like coming for the wall at the very end. All right, cool. So I think we should get this the label and uh, put it in 311 and carry on. Done. Done and done. Uh, sign the V6 packages. Uh, yes, I'd like to do this. I need to still follow up with the .NET Foundation. Um, but I don't think it's going to happen in 3.11. Let's put this at 3.14, because um, it's, it's purely a build process thing um, on the extension, so we can do this later. We don't have a 3.14 milestone, do we? No, we don't. We probably should. I will, I will uh, yeah, do that. Yeah. Yeah. Is, this, is there a problem? Some, you said .NET Foundation. Does it require a special cert? Or? It requires the real certificate. And uh, the way that we're signing right now, I'm worried about the real certificate, so I need to follow up with the .NET Foundation to see if they've advanced their um, technology for signing stuff or not. Got it. 
because it was a discussion of that maybe they would do that. Um, project reference variable target path contains multiple items. So what we're going to see in this triage, as we already saw once, is that uh, Bob Sean, I'd like to say me as well, but I was battling other things and not making any progress. So Bob and Sean made progress this weekend, um, and last week, I guess, on issues that came up that seemed like things should be fixed. And so with the information that this actually was happening and needed to be fixed, Bob or Sean fixed Bob, fixed this one. So um, this was what you'd have a project reference to C++, and it would glom together several of them or something like that, right? Several identical ones, which is a little <laughs> weird. Is even not as useful. So anyway, uh, so yeah, we took a fix for that in 3.11 on our way to RC2. C++ custom action template and SDK files are missing. So the SDK files will be present now. Um, Bob fixed that. Um, but the custom action template is still missing. And the C++ custom action templates are um, annoying to the extreme. Um, in fact, our old templates were using the Visual Studio 2005, 2008 format, and yeah. apparently Visual Studio was doing something magical to convert it, which was actually kind of cool that they were doing that, uh, but it's a huge mess. So anyway, I've been doing battle with this, trying to figure out the correct way to do it. It's assigned to me, and we will see when we do triage of 311 issues that this issue is still sitting there waiting for me to uh, fix it. Um, so we will see that again. Project reference target there is missing trailing backslash for C++ projects. So I don't know what the C++ guys did, but they did stuff that broke us a couple different ways, and Bob has fixed both of them in this amount of time. Um, yeah, so this is fixed as well. So essentially what's happening now is if you have a project reference to C++ projects, they should do what they used to do as opposed to being useless and not being the way they're supposed to. So I think we just Label these and we'll carry on. Um, Wix 311 uh, does include the 27 SDK. This is a targeted issue about another one that had the issue of both the templates and the SDK included. And Bob has done the work to make sure this got included in the bundle and was installed with all the other stuff. So, yay, that should be showing up now. Um, add hooks for burn for Wix execution and execute searches. Um, Sean, is this the beginning of a WIP? Um, well, we had talked about it before, so yep. I figured I would just file it, and there was okay. a Stack Overflow question about it. So. Ah, got it. So we need a WIP or something for this? Eventually. Okay. I, don't, I don't know if I'm going to be the one that does it or someone else. Right. Okay, fair enough. So where does this go? Does this go in 4x and we, you know, put it in burn and someone can look at it? Um, I don't know whether it'd be breaking or not. Probably. Yeah. We're not probably taking functionality though in 314 though, so. Yeah, definitely for something. For something. Yeah. All right. Cool. 4x it is. Um, virus warning with Wix SDK. Ah, sorry. Double click. All right. Um, so some people were reporting with the last RC that these things are getting flagged. I have no idea why these files are getting flagged suddenly. Um, we didn't get lots of reports of them. They all stopped. Um, oh, no, wait. Six, seven, eight. Oh, I thought it was longer ago than that. Um, so I'm inclined to have us release the RC2 and see if this continues. Yeah, so with virus total and... Another one whose name I'm forgetting. We can, as soon as we do the release, we can submit them, right? Or ask them to go look at them. And uh, I don't know if that's going to help if they're still, if they're actually looking at bits or if they're, you know, doing some heuristic thing. Yeah, I don't know. And these are actually the files, not the install anymore, which is kind of interesting. Yeah, true. So it's like normally it's the installer that hits us. Now they're actually looking at our files inside Wix. So yeah, I think you still submit the to the individual vendors, the individual files to the individual vendors. So uh, 
but we'll see. I, I'm inclined to see what happens with RC2. Yeah, worth a look. So, um, but we probably should let this hang out here, um, or we have to otherwise. I guess we put it milestone 311. Um, that'll get us to come back around to it again. True. Yeah, I guess that's probably the right thing to do. Uh, these virus trackers are just getting crazy. Um, add copy Wix bundle copyright built-in variable for bundle. I have to display a copyright notice in the custom UI and be convenient if I wouldn't have to define a custom variable but use the bundle copyright instead. Value from the bundle copyright instead. Uh, I'm not thrilled about adding another magic variable. Me either. We uh, could make it uh, available. You can get out of the file. The page. data. You can get out of the file. Yeah. Uh, we could put it in 4x and put a suspend and all that kind of stuff. No. Let's say we could put it as the BA data. Yeah, that's not. But we could put it in 4X. I, it's up to us. Does anybody want to... Should we suspend it, or should we just go... Yeah, we'll keep it open if someone wants to do it. I'm not opposed to keeping it open. All right. I'm not going to sign up to do it myself. All right, 4X um, it is. But I definitely don't want it as a variable, so... All right, I think drop that comment in as well and say, hey, toss it out there. Yeah, see, I'm with John, but that's yeah. fine. <laughs> Um, SQL compatible with TLS 1.2. This is because I think the SQL custom actions are using Ole and Ole, whatever, what is it called? OLEDB? Um, yeah, OLEDB. And that's slowly going away. <laughs> no, not slowly. <laughs> uh, quickly? Not right. slowly. It's, uh, uh, I want to say SQL 2012, maybe 2014. OLEDB is deprecated. ODBC is the new way to go. Um, and that's problematic because you actually have to install the ODBC drivers to use them. Oh my goodness. So huh. it's, yeah, it's, we're going to get to a point where you, you know, you, if, if we were to re-implement all of the SQL custom actions using ODBC, we would have to have a prereq for the ODBC drivers Meaning you could no longer use these in a naked MSI. You'd have to, you know, do a bundle or, or block if the ODBC drivers aren't installed. This is crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. All right, four X it is. Yeah. Someone can start yeah. tackling that problem. Uh, I, uh, there's a lot. Yeah, you know, there's a lot to do there. Then that's not fun. No, no, this this absolutely requires an entire rewrite of SQL Util and the SQL CAs. It's, it just needs a whole reapproach. Yeah, it's not a small bit of work. Ah, uh, come on, people. Whatever. Fill out one section, delete the others. Anyway, three ten three. Two thousand fifteen. Uh, an assert. Scroll to the bottom. This is a no op. Well, kind of a no op. Wait, but I thought you said 2015. But oh, oh, he has uh, one of the bad extensions in it, right? No, he has two extensions. He has voter from 3.10.3 and the VS 2015 extension from Marketplace. Right. So I closed it, and I probably shouldn't have because it's a question if there's anything we could do to prevent that. No, there isn't. Um, I don't think there's anything we can do at in, in, in V6 installer time. No. So it would just be a question of, is there a way to detect it from the extension version of Votive that the other version of Votive is installed? Yeah, but this may be a bug that's already fixed in a later version. Yeah, this may be fixed, though. Um, well, as long as he's using 3.10.3, he's going to get the 3.10.3 version of Votive. Yeah, but, sorry, but he would also get the other one, and I don't know which one wins, but I think this one had a oh. bug like this in it. Oh, I see. So he, if he upgrades to the latest 2015 extension, it may just work. I'm I'm reminded of 
a quote from Ghostbusters about crossing the streams, having two versions of Votive running in the same Visual Studio. Well, I, I think you only get one because they are using the same COM registration. So I think in the end you only get one of them. Know which one you get. Oh, so one of them wins. Okay. Or one of them wins. Right. So I think in this case the extension one. Sounds like that's the one that's winning, and that's why it's throwing the error. And okay. this error was present in it at that time. There okay. was an error that looked a lot like this. So an assert that looked a lot like this. So anyway, uh, I do expect this is fixed. Um, and I do think they should operate correctly, even if they're both inside Visual Studio. As weird as that is, it's been working for me okay. uh, as I've been hitting it or using it. So I think this is working with the latest builds. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. Now, Visual Studio 2017 will not work without Wix 3.11, but that's because that was build broke things, so that's right. a different thing. Uh, we have more discussion about Wix 3.11 requiring .NET 3.5.1. Yep. Still confused by the people that... Did they not know that they needed this? Were they getting lucky? Like, I'm still confused. Were they not well, using this build? The, that was, yeah, that was my confusion. Um, but, you know, I, I do see a number of people who, you know, post their batch files for building. Oh, yeah. That would have, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Right. That's right. We'll have 314. They can look at that one. PowerShell Wix property in the Wix PS extension does not detect version 5. Yeah, okay. So someone needs to update the PowerShell extension. Totally expect that's true. Uh, Wix 4, or X, someone could fix it. And let's let him know that if he wants it, he probably should fix it. All right, cool. Thanks, John. Awesome. Fantastic. Um, how do I install the extension offline? I run the extension v6 directly to attempt to download some dependencies. Really? That's surprising. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a little... Well, VS 2017 will. I've seen that as soon as you try to install an extension, it will start installing all the other updates it can. Um, I think that's the thing. It's not that it's installing uh, dependencies. It's that it's installing um, stuff. So, like, yeah. I, I see it try to, uh, looking at the log, it tries to install the V6 updater. Uh -huh. And yeah. it takes like five seconds on my machine, so I'm like, uh, okay, it's doing something there. Yep. Yep, no. This this anyway, this is Visual Studio behavior of their installer anyway, so. Um, it does not attempt to download dependencies because you can't do that in a V6. <laughs> and we declare the minimal amount of dependencies on Visual Studio. So if it's a dependency, then it's whatever Visual Studio needs to work. So I think we can resolve that as um, external. <laughs> um, burn leaves... The temp, and this guy came up with a way of saying, hey, if you unload the app domain, then you can uh, uh, fix this all up. And he sent a pull request. So that's great. So I think we should put this in 4.0 and go look at the pull request. Fantastic. Cool. All right. Moving on. Moving on. Wix 3.11 issues. I'm going to refresh this because I know one just showed up. Or maybe it hasn't showed up yet. Anyway. Oh, no, sorry. This is triage. My bad. My bad. Uh, these are bugs currently marked for triage. Um, so, internet shortcut needs icon. I think this is fixed now, right? It's closed. Yes. yes, it should be. Cool. So let's bring it in 3.11 and untriage it. Cool. Um, what's your query? I'm not showing... Is, is oh, issue labels mind. triage. I had is open. Uh, oh, yeah, right. There we go. Um, all right. Uh, wrong binding in IS site. So we looked at this pull request. At this pull request, I think, is still in three. Um, I think we're not going to slip this into three, so I think this just goes to four. Um, and there is a bug for four, or a uh, pull request for four. So I think we can just put this in four and remove triage and go forward from there. Uh, all right, that works for me. Because, uh, you know, it's off at 3S right now. And then this is the light IO exception multi-proc thing. I think this is the John, right, Mr. Cooper's thing. Mm -hmm. That got moved to 4 that still has triage on it. So Oops. do we need triage on it, or is that okay? No. No. All right, excellent. Then we can clear our triage. 
All right, that brings us to 311. Dun, 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 four issues. Um, I guess I have to take that top one. Um, since I've been doing all the build stuff. Uh, all right, so going through these. This bottom issue, um, 27 build tools and West Project build. Uh, this is fixed. As far as fixed can be, MS build basically rolled out a breaking change. And so for some projects, you will have to manually go fix them to work correctly in MS build 15. So I was going, I need to go add the instructions that they need to do to fix their uh, project, their project so that they can work with MS build 15 um, when RC2 is out. Because they do need to fix no. RC2 as well. Is this uh, does this problem affect, like, you know, a stock Wix Proj from Wix Proj from the template? This affects any, yep, anything from before RC2. Any project built before, created before RC2 uh, will need updating to work correctly without the Visual Studio extension installed. Sorry, without the Visual Studio extension. Yeah, the Visual Studio mm -hmm. extension, it, it allows us, it slips in a hook that allows us to make this work. Yeah, but for example, they're trying to use the build tools SKU, and they can't install extensions there, so we can't put our hook in. So the only option then is to fix your project. Well, we fix it. The templates are correct in RC2, John. So if you create a new project, it will work correctly with MS Build 15. If you have existing projects, you have to fix them to do what the new template does to work correctly with MS Build 15. And I have a nice long diatribe on the MS Build. <laughs> ticket there that I'm just like, you guys broke us. Yeah, migration would be great, except it's in the C++ or the C-sharp project, and we don't have a migration mechanism side there because we don't implement those project types, so we can't fix them. Um, yeah, it's very frustrating. Very, very frustrating. Okay, so this affects Wix projects and custom action projects. It's all projects. We could write a migration for our projects if we wanted to do that in Votive, where you could Sorry, open it I, in the I extension. Was, right, right. No, I was just asking whether it was um, which project types you have to be concerned about, and it's Wix Proj, CS Proj, and VCX Proj. Oh, and VB Proj, if you have a VB custom action. I'm sorry, that does not compute. Just saying. We don't have enough sharp Proj today, so you can't do that one, but, you know, okay. so on and so forth. Oh, actually, but there's probably nothing stopping you. Oh, no, nothing stopping. It's just we don't have that template. Yeah. Yeah. No, the MS Build just broke us, and and we can't fix our customers. I'm I'm kind of beside myself, but, you know, I was venting at them yesterday, and after spending all of my last week, all of the free time that I had trying to make it work, I just, in the end, came to a point where I'm like, it's impossible. So I'm I'm just... <laughs> I don't know that we've ever had a breaking change that wasn't security related, that there was nothing you could do. <laughs> it was just like, sorry, you're broken. Well, to be clear, we don't have the breaking change. No, oh, yeah. No, yeah. But we're going to get the tickets. We're going to get the issues yeah. open. So yep. I'm, I'm unhappy to the extreme about the way this went down. Um, new project template. This guy tracked the thing that I believe someone else reported on Wix devs that there's this node with all of our stuff in it in 2017. I don't know why that's happening. Um, I am going to go hunt it down with the Visual Studio people. Um, I don't think we'll hold 311 if I don't get a chance to get to this thing because it's not that bad. I mean, you could basically say, hey, look, this is how your templates are implemented, <laughs> which is kind of interesting. Um, but eventually we'll figure this out. And it's only in the extension, which, of course, we can update independent of the Wix toolset now. Uh, one downside, and I don't know if we can change this with naming, is that by default you get dumped into the Wix toolset node. Yep. And that shows... All of them. Yes, it shows all of them, and they end up... You, you can't tell which is V3 and which is V4. No, we can fix that. Okay. I would say if we can't fix it, fix it, we should at least fix it so that no. the, there aren't duplicates. Um, yeah, we can fix both of those issues. Because right now they okay. roll up. Right now we have the mark to roll up to that next node, so that's what they're doing. But oh, I haven't see. done the work to name the projects differently. Um, and happy to... 
Um, we could open another issue to do that if we want to do that in this time frame. The nice thing again is that this is a votive template, so we don't have to keep rolling out the build tools for that. Right, right. And we know how much you love to work inside votive. Um, honestly, where I'm at now is I want to kind of like if I used to do this. I I I, I kind of want to do it where um, we rename setup project to being MSI package. I, I basically would like us to look at these and change bootstrapper to bundle you know basically yeah, modernize yeah. the names now that we know what they are right um but i haven't sat down and figured out what that is and then take into account that you have v3 and v4 which you couldn't have before right um you now have that so it's basically a i think it would be great to go through our templates one time kind of thing and lay them all out um describe them however we want to and how we want to behave and then do that one big push. That makes sense. Um, but I didn't feel the need to do that in 3.11 right now. Um, this is the issue about custom action templates. Uh, C++ custom action templates missing. That's true. They are. The SDK files are no longer missing in RC2. Um, and been working on that on top of this breaking change in MS build and Oh my gosh, it's really painful. <laughs> it's just they made it really, really hard to do work. Um, yeah, so um, not been fun. These these issues have been way more taxing than just trying to make something work um, than anything else. So, but C++ Action templates will come after RC2, um, and we'll talk about when, whenever we talk about the scheduling. So we need to keep going. Last thing, uh, we have these three um, pull requests still open. Um, what are we doing with them? Are we going to keep these, keep this open? Like, so we'll do them one at a time. The bottom one, are we keeping this around just so we know what to migrate to four, or because we just haven't killed it yet? Yeah, so I don't, I, I don't John know what. he's willing to redo it in four. Sure. So do we just? Um, uh, so I don't I don't know what to I don't know what to do with that kind of thing where we want to you know we want the the bits still around because once you close them well there's 433 closed TRs right now so yes, they're hard to find they would be hard to find um, we can tag them yep I guess you know uh, yep. if we can come up with a label that I don't know what to call it I guess is the problem. Migrate to four? I don't know. Whatever. Um, sure. I, I don't know. Migrate, upgrade, uh, transfer. Okay, Some of them also, also exist in four, so we can avoid that because it's already been done. Um, fair. Um, uh, I, I, will, I will think on a name and see if I come up with one that you know, makes me happy or giggle sure. or whatever. Sure. And and label, I think, I guess at least the, I guess, <laughs> the bottom four? All the well, top? well, I think that this goes to four because I think there's a pull request. Oh, no, this is the pull request. So I, I think if you check in four, you'll find one for this in four, and so we can just close it here. Oh, okay. Right. It may even have reference to the other four. No, it doesn't have reference to the four. I'm pretty sure there's one in four. Okay. Um, okay. I, I, yeah. Okay. I will. I will do yeah. that. Cool. Do, 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 do. All right. So Bob's going to go through and clean these up, which will be great because I don't really want. To, we need to clean our pull request, and then when we focus on four, we'll do the same thing to four, which will be great. Um, the big thing in four is that most of the pull requests there are like, yeah, this is a good start, but it's not the right fix, and need to go do more work to do the right fix. Oh my gosh, we're not spending any time on four, so that's a problem. All right, so the net result of all this is that we don't have any pull requests open, which is a good thing for three. Or we won't have any pull requests for three because we're going to migrate all those or mark them for migration. And the these top one on the util extension. Yeah. Um, it needs work. Yep. Um, do we want to say we're not going to take it even now if the work gets done? We're at RC2. I mean, I don't think we're taking it for 311. We could take it for. Yeah. We, I mean, we could discuss taking a a fix at 314 for language things. Okay. Um, 
maybe. I, we're going to have this discussion about what goes in 3.14. My general stance yeah. is we're just not doing anything that we're not doing anything in 3 because we need to go look at 4. So anybody that puts stuff in 3 is making work for us that we don't want to be doing because we need to go focus on 4. I'm fine with that. Okay. I, I find in general, you know, the, the the window for 3.11, you know, started closing months ago. So I'm it's, fine that our, stuff coming in late isn't going to make it. Yeah, like this IS thing got close, but then I saw the change, and I'm like, this requires way too much time. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah and, absolutely. For example. Yep. All right. Cool. So this is what we have less than 3.11, left in 3.11, which is not this one. This will get closed as soon as I type up what they have to do. Um, and I don't think this new project templates bug will necessarily get fixed, but it's not that horrible, so I'm kind of willing to let it ride for a little bit longer. Um, the C++ custom action template we have to bring back, or at least we always had it, so I think we need to bring it back. And then I'm hoping this virus warning will go away with RC2, and if not, then we'll, I don't know what we'll have to do we'll have to go poke somebody and get that fixed. Um, tell them to quit flagging our files. Uh, so, basically what this says is that we have the C++ custom action uh, template, project template left to do within Wix 3.11. So, uh, I think it's pretty clear we're not going to release in four days. Anybody going to I'm okay with that. Everybody's like, quiet. All right. I was waiting for the, ah, uh, or something. <laughs> Life. Yeah. Um, it was always kind of the aggressive anyway, so. Um, so, that means, where to next? What to target next? Um, I totally appreciate that part of this is based on the C++ templates, but, um, and by the way, I should note that fixing the C++ templates may not be purely a votive fix. There may be something necessary in the, we may need to install a targets file or something as part of the WIST tool set to help us uh, trampoline ourselves from Visual Studio 2017 into Wix. So that's the reason that, as I've been trying to come up with solutions only voted, I've been slowly working my way to, we may need another build of the build tools, which is the unfortunate part. Otherwise, I'd be like, yeah, you know, we're, we'll get this templates in here, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to need to have another build of build tools. So... But I like how you call it trampolining, like it's some fun activity. Oh, yeah, well, I don't know. Tunneling is another way to do it. Think about it, but <laughs> whatever. Um, so do people have strong opinions on these dates? Then... The, and knowing that the templates are going to come in, hopefully being a relatively small change. I, I have two questions. Um, one, knowing that the C++ templates are expected to be a small change and a, sorry, a not impactful change outside of the fact that, yeah, the whole templates exist. And if there are breaks, they'll be in the templates. Um, do we need an RC3 to roll that out? Um, or are we willing to pull that in and just go forward with RTM? I totally appreciate that people are going to be like, well, I don't know what the change looks like. So we, I'm fine if we uh, hold on a little bit to that question when we, until we see the change. Um, but I want people thinking about this. And then, you know, what day do we want to go? And John has said May 1st. So um, May Day is always kind of fun. Um, so the, that's fourth. Yeah, I know. It feels like that was the last release we did, too, was May 4th. We did one on May the 4th, didn't we? Yes. Um, it may turn into which of those days. May 4th is a Thursday, where May 1st is a Monday. So uh, I don't know if that makes a huge difference in the end, either. Um, oh, Cinco de Mayo. That's another one. <laughs> May 5th, that Friday. Um, well, it sounds like we're trying to base this decision on which would be the funniest day of the week. Well, I'm also hearing not April, um, so I think that's probably uh, telling yeah. as well. Our, our We're basically RC, saying RC the first week of May. <laughs> yeah. No, RC2, I think, has enough changes in it that we want, you know, we don't want to rush after RC2. Um, so I'm, I'm fine. I mean, probably I would be fine with, you know, uh, tax day, because that's always a fun holiday. Uh, but that's only a couple weeks. I'm I'm also fine with you know pushing for a funner holiday than tax day. So <laughs> right. Um, cool. 
All right, so we're looking first week of May, uh, somewhere between May Day, May the 4th, and Cinco de Mayo. Um, I kind of like Cinco de Mayo. I don't think we've done that one before. I feel like we've done the other two, but Cinco de Mayo. Um, all right, so that's what we're looking at. West 311 is the first week of May at this point. Um, and whether we do an RC3 or not, um, we can decide uh, whenever we have the fix for it, which hopefully won't be that long, but I'm still struggling with the, the solution. So, um, But we could maybe do an RC3 even in two weeks or something like that, and that would still give us three weeks to look at it in May, before May happens. So. Um, all right, cool. So that's the way we're trending right now. Somewhere in the first week of May for Wix 311 final release date. Anything else anybody wants to talk about? We got a nice full meeting here. Um, nothing. John's got nothing. I like this. We're going to switch to Spanish here at the end of our meetings. Anything else going, going? No? All right. All right. Uh, vamos, mi amigos. Adios. And I don't know how to say next week. Semana. Um, Proxima semana? Proxima semana, yeah. Yeah, all right. Uh, uh, dos Proxima semana. Man, my Spanish is horrible. Uh, Mr. Hurtado would be very disappointed in me. All right, guys. Till next month. You take it easy. Bye. Bye. <laughs>